we run a, a basic five set rotation. Okay, and uh, we sort of went through it last year, last time we had the camp, so it was a little difficult. So you want to go through it, then we want to try to put, it, put you in a position where you can sort of modify your reaction to the position you're in. So you're now in a system where having the five positions, the five guys respond great to do when you're playing basketball. But, you know, in our program at Pulse, we focus a lot on the college type games, so we run a lot of the college type stuff. And then we try to hold kids accountable to the actions of it is that there's only one basketball. So you have to figure out now how five positions are going to be in a position where they can score. And that's how we run our rotation. Now, the rotation is a real simple rotation. It's a five-step rotation. The one scores, the two scores, and then we just try to show people where they're supposed to be. Out of the coach's hands. Coaches does not have a control in an option set. That's up to the individual player. That individual play, in order to be involved in an option set, they have to have the necessary skills. And that is, a, that is where I think the difficulty comes in when it comes to coaches teaching basketball. Because kids, are, young men and women, are spending a lot of time working on uh, step backs. And a lot of things that are outside of the basic scope or the basic foundation of basketball. In our system, there are three components. An ability to be able to shoot, okay? Now in the rotations, those are plays that coaches, or what we call a part of playbook strategy. Those are what coaches design, okay? There's no one playbook strategy that's better than the other playbook strategy. So no matter what a coach tells you, no matter what a person tells you, there's another one better than the other. You want to evaluate how it best meets your needs. And I believe, after 40 years, I believe our rotation set best fits our kids. Okay. And then, learn the playbook strategy. That is the vehicle that's going to take you to the next level. So if it's high school, and you want to play on the highest high school level, of course, you got to pick the schools you go to. But no matter what school you go to, if you can execute those skills within the confines of the rotation set, depending on whatever the coach teaches, my theory is that you will be highly successful. And it will lead you to the next level, which is what, what, what I'm assuming most people here want to do play at the college level. All right, so what I told Coach Steve we're going to do today is we're going to go through a simple rotation then we're going to do what, what, what I always do in Pulse and what I love to do, and that's teaching. Okay? We sat and we watched off for 40 minutes, working on and have fun playing, laying the ball up, doing finger rolls, doing all the things that, that you see on TV, that you emulate. And that's a great thing when you're having fun. And no kid, and I often say this to coaches, no kid should be deprived from having fun. Any kid can dream of it. The unfortunate part of it is that sometimes you take the dream, the fun, and the fantasy, and you want to move it to the reality. And then when you move to the reality, it comes to the things that we're talking about now, about playbook strategy, about running rotations, about having those three or five skills that we talk about, and then executing that in a game situation, it's five other guys whose sole job is to stop you from putting that ball in the hoop. So the decision you have to make is really on you. All we can do is provide the information for you, for you to make the determination where you want to go. Okay? One other thing, and then we're going to roll through the rotation. Now, you know, most people know by now, we at Pulse Academy, we're fortunate to be going on a Adidas circuit this year. Okay? And that's a great opportunity for kids to be playing against some of the opposing kids who are national ranked, who are some of the better kids in the country. But for us, or for me, there's two missions. To provide kids with an opportunity. That's the first thing. And then the second thing 
my, thing, my theory is this. If you have 300 college coaches sitting in a gym practically begging for the best possible athletic student they can get to provide a free education for them, then obviously you'd have to know why I'm going on this trip, why I'm giving kids an opportunity. Because the college being $160,000, $170,000 to walk out with a four-year degree, unless someone here can convince me that their parent is filthy rich, filthy rich, then you have to understand why this mission of, a, of participating in the Adidas gauntlet is so important. The bottom line is this, to provide an opportunity for a young man who believes, who believes that he can relish an opportunity to get a free college education as an athletic student, if he truly believes that and willing to make the commitment and the dedication to make it happen, then that's a dream that I would love to support. I would love to support that dream. And that's why I do what I do. So we're taking nine or 10 kids on this circuit to perform against the best kids in the country. Now, no one is even questioning about winning and losing. Coach, why are you not talking about winning the game? Well, if we won the Adidas Gauntlet Championship, other than bringing a trophy home and extending the reputation of Pulse Academy, what other significance, what else am I going to get out of it? I've been a college athlete. I've had a, an enormous amount of medals and trophies. And I've traveled the country and competed against the best kids in the world. So what do I need to gain? I have my college education. I have two degrees. So other than providing an opportunity for you young men to get out there and expose yourself against some of the best kids in the country, successful or unsuccessful, there's no other reason for me to do this. Okay? Now with that being said, you can't lose sight of the fact that the demand to compete on a national level is very, very high. Extremely high. The expectation is extremely high. And it's, that, it's at that point, it's difficult for me to deviate by trying to have compassion for a young man with a dream. So for me, that's impossible. Scenes are never an easy situation necessary to be on a court, to be on the basketball court. And then again, they have to have those skills and knowledge to execute what's needed to successfully be on the court. And if they were that successful, then what are we talking about? What we're talking about is signing a simple letter of intent that's valued close to $170,000 over four years. And that's the bottom line. Anything outside of that has no relevance to me. None whatsoever. So even after these long speeches, and we'll go through some rotations, then we're gonna try to provide you an opportunity to ask questions, honest questions, that we can give you honest answers. Other than that, there's no other reason. No other reason for me to be here. No other reason, for, you know, just no other reason whatsoever to do this. Other than giving you an opportunity to have fun. And when we watched the first 20 minutes of this, what we saw are young men having fun. And you should never, ever, ever work away from the Division I school and play in Syracuse. Okay, that was his dream. And it still may be his dream. And no one has the right to take the dream away. But now you're at the end, you're in 11th grade, you're in the 12th grade. You have not made the commitment. You've not made the commitment to go to a Syracuse University. 
You have not made that commitment. You cannot go to a major institution and expect to perform at the level that you're dreaming of. Okay? So, without further ado, what we're going to do is, Coach Steve wanted me to show, uh, both guys basically know it, he wanted me to show uh, some of his new guys the basic five-set rotation, how we execute it. Uh, maybe I'll take a minute to put options in and give me a chance to see what your skill level looks like within the five-set rotation. That'll give Coach Steve, the other coaches, an opportunity to maybe advise you on what you need to do, what you need to work on your own, if you plan on uh, excelling to the next level, or playing uh, one day playing in a gauntlet circuit, or playing in a Nike or under armor circuit, or, or, or going to an elite camp, some of the things that we do in Pulse. Okay, so any questions before we start? All right.